bastard. <laughs> Are you tall enough? Hey guys, welcome to Off the Grey Wall. It's Mike. It's Dan. I'm Felicia. <laughs> Felicia is joining us today because uh, we are eating some awesome Cantonese food. I'm Cantonese, but honestly, I can't speak well, but I can eat well. Oh, <laughs> that's like all you need. Exactly. <laughs> I don't have many traits, many good traits in my life, but uh, I can eat. <laughs> yep. But you can't eat though. I, you can barely eat. You're like you not a barely. good eater. Oh. So what do you got going on for yourself, man? Um, I'm very refined. All right. I'm very, <laughs> I'm very selective. Okay. I um, that means picky. he's picky. I'm picky. <laughs> so we're at the Imperial Palace Restaurant here in Flushing. This is one of the best Cantonese places in the city, and we've got a bunch of awesome, authentic Cantonese dishes that they recommended, and we also asked Felicia to help pick out for us. Yeah. I mean, I love Cantonese food, and if you guys watch us a lot, you know that Mike likes the northern part of China because all that food is so flavorful. Yeah. And some people it. might Too say, flavorful. yeah. But exactly. Oh, well, excuse flavorful. me. Too flavorful? Too fla it happens. There's there's certain <laughs> things in life that doesn't exist. Okay, too much money, uh, too much fun, and too flavorful. Yeah. That doesn't exist. I, I, I think too. That's a healthy balance for everything. Here's the thing about Cantonese food, right? Yeah. It should be fresh, mm -hmm. and the flavors should be complex but savory. And they speak for themselves. That's what's the unique characteristic mm. about Cantonese food. That's why most people who like Cantonese food, they probably don't like a lot of spice a lot of hot mm -hmm. oil. Right. Probably the right. total opposite to Sichuan food, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or no, total or, opposite of what I yeah. love. Yeah. Like Felicia said, it speaks for itself. So if you got a dish, it's like, hey, um, taste me. But if you're tasting like a Northeastern lamb, it's soaked in hot oil and spices, right? Uh, it's full of awesomeness. I don't know what you're talking about. So today we're gonna try a bunch of Cantonese dishes. I, I'm gonna keep an open mind. I don't typically eat Cantonese food. I do you like, can't go in with a negative attitude. Exactly. Come on. I'm, I'm gonna be positive because I, I love food in general and I'm starving. All right, so we have five dishes arrived so far. Um, Did you know you were gonna do a food feast today? No, I did up. not. So, but I didn't eat anything, so I'm excited, like nice. beyond excited. She has a food <laughs> sense. She sense lots of food are coming. Uh -huh. yeah. So tell us about some of these dishes. So this one at the front, it's called Don Tao Hao Ha, and that's a staple in, I think, all Cantonese people's, I don't know, regime in eating. It's a bit oily, but the beef is really tender, and it goes down a tree. With this one, there's a bit of like mushroom, A mushroom sea cucumber. Right. Right. And there's like a gravy kind of sauce, and it's not too salty, so, you know, hold uh, back your frustrations. <laughs> um, and this is, uh, this this bao is a, is a very, you know, famous way mm -hmm. that a lot of Chinese dishes yeah. are cooked, even Cantonese dishes are mm -hmm. always cooked like this, especially in the winter. Yeah. It's like a stew, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, we just got oh, something like, else. Oh. Oh, this is insane. That, that is that that looks so crazy good. Brain. Sauteed pea shoots with garlic. Garlic, and what I like about this dish is that the garlic it is whole. Is in whole. And you can mm. eat this. And thing. it's yep. sweet. And uh, what we have here. So inside there's prawn, there's scallops, there's a bit of vermicelli noodles, and it's wrapped in a really thin pastry with breadcrumbs. So this is so, like a Cantonese egg roll, sort of. Yeah, in a way, and yeah. it's different to a spring roll. And no Cantonese meal is complete without the uh, iconic fried, fried rice. rice. Yeah, look at that. Wow. You can actually smell the dried shrimp. It's a little pungent. It's a bit of pungent. Right? Yeah. Yep. And of course. That's a specialty right there. <laughs> that's the specialty they have at this restaurant. It's sticky rice, no me. And it's got mm. crab inside. Oh, that uh, thing smells so good. Wait, wait, I want some. <laughs> Spring onions feature in almost everything. Can I say, this is the first time we had uh, all the food come out at once, which is great. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times, you know, people are following us as we're eating, but now they could really see like a whole feast. Right. I love that. And we're so, sealing kudos. the deal with the fish. Oh, this is the <laughs> most important part of any oh Cantonese meal. Yeah. Look at that eyeball. It just looks so juicy. <laughs> so, are you an eyeball um, person? I'm an eyeball oh, person. You're gonna, you're gonna, are you a fish head person? <laughs> no, not the fish head, but that I do looks... eyeballs. Okay, so that's 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 your eyeball. My gram, grandma used to make me eat the eyeball because she's like, oh, it's going to help you with your eyesight. Yeah. It doesn't help me with my eyesight. Yeah. Grandma tails. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like, eat the fish. You can swim better. That's, I don't think that's true. So the fish in Chin Chinese is yu, mm -hmm. which which also means plentiful. Mm -hmm. So it's a very symbolic part of a, of a feast. And also there's a there's a way to flip it, right? So you can't just like flip it 
Where else you'll you have get, to eat the one side yeah. and clean that off, yep. and then peel the you know the right. spine part. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because otherwise you uh, you kind of get giving away your fortune like exactly. it's overboard. Uh, yeah. So that's how you get a whole fish yeah. during a Chinese New Year feast or well, any feast anyway. Mm -hmm. You guys can get mad at me for getting hot oil. I I would not. <laughs> are you kidding? That's you butcher it. I'm not gonna, gonna put it on there. I'm gonna put no. it on my own plate. Okay. Okay. The natural flavors no. of the fish are gone, diminished. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> team hot oil. Team oh, Mike for team hot actually, oil. Uh, what else are you gonna add hot oil to? Everything. It? No way. Seriously. Yeah. Everything. Seriously. Okay, I Felicia. I think you need to leave right now. Would you add hot oil to any of this? Nothing. Wait, you are you guys hot it. oil lovers though? <laughs> we do. We do. I love hot oil. I love chili. I'm yeah. not saying anything bad, but when you Wouldn't, eat this, no. you appreciate it for what it is. Wouldn't this taste great no. with hot no. oil no. or some of the noodles? Do you know what that's like? <laughs> that's like you go everywhere and you're like, can I get ketchup with that? That is not what it's like. <laughs> sort of. Let's try some of these dishes. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Okay. Photo, 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 photo time. Photo time. Instagram. So here we go. This is the Asian photo time before every single meal. Here we go. Yo, yo, watch. Mike, Mike gets into it too. He's gonna start standing up in like two minutes. No, you need to get that buzz eye level. Got to. <laughs> she knows what I'm saying. This is the first time that seriously they all came out at once, right? This thing out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anthony's feast. Off to go while filming. Check that out. Can we dig in, please? Because this is killing me. Hang <laughs> on. We can't dig in until we got the picture time out of the way. You, you got, got the picture That's a rule of Asian. You might get your Asian card revoked for like not finishing pictures. All right. I think right. we should start with this because yeah, this yeah, might yeah. like get cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. go ahead, take the Wait. biggest one. No, go. I'm gonna take a small one. You take a small one. You take a small, a small one. one. Oh, you guys are doing this wrong. You need wait, some wait, of this sauce on this. Are you supposed to drink this? Yeah, yeah I'm it's drinking like, this. You know when you eat no, oysters no. and you have ocean yeah. water in the oysters. Take All right, this is. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we're gonna do this. There we go. Yo, mine is stuck to the shell. <laughs> Yo, come on. <sighs> I can't even. It's like this yet. It's so close, but so far. Oh, I gotta admit, this sauce is insane. Oh my god. Holy crap. Oh, wow. This is the only mm. oyster. Oh, you are making a mess, young lady. That's the only way to eat it. This is the it's only really oyster that like it's taking me like a minute. And I still haven't finished it yet. You know what I'm saying? And it's taken like five bites. Because oysters are usually what, like one slurp and it's, it's done. And you know what I love about Chinese food in general is like, all right, in the West, how many different ways is there to, to cook an oyster and eat it? Like you eat it raw, right? You eat it fried. You eat it fried or you grill it. You grill it. But here, like, look at all the seasoning that went into yeah. like this oyster. Yeah. This is like, you know, this each one of these is like a little- And you still little... taste the flavor of the actual oyster. Exactly, the freshness of it. Mm -hmm. Well, let me pour you guys some tea. Oh, well, thank, thank you. Thank you. Ah, you want to explain what you're doing with a hand motion here? That is how you say thank you when people pour you tea. If you don't, then... Then you're like, you're you like the, rude. You got no you got manners. Mm -hmm. You'll be shunned. You know, up north, we actually do the knuckles. Because the story was like, there's some emperor who was like escaping and they had a servant. And the emperor had to dress up as a servant to serve the servants. Then the servants did this to symbolize their kneecaps mm. as they were kneeling. But the go. Cantonese, they usually do it like Interesting. that. Interesting, right. yeah, like that. But what is that? You're just stomping. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping up and down. Like how you walk in the office. Oh! <laughs> this is what we also love about Cantonese for any Asian food. We got the little lazy Susan. Yeah. And who is Susan? Why is she so lazy? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great service. <laughs> Great service. All right, let's try it. So let me uh, let me serve you guys. This is a sea so urchin. So that is the no, that's right. sea, sea cucumber. cucumber. Yeah. yeah. The thing about sea cucumbers is that it's really hard for the flavors to penetrate it. Uh -huh. So. If it's good, you're gonna see how flavorful it is. That's one indication of it. And it Ooh, looks, it looks the texture of it. Yeah. Mm, you slimy. like that? I like. Mm. Well, it looks slimy. <laughs> it looks very slimy. It's like a snail-looking thing. I can almost describe it as a gelatin, Gel mm -hmm. yep. uh, tendon-esque thing. So this is really interesting. This is actually fish stomach. Okay. All right. So, so this is a fish so yeah fish tripe. In yeah. A way. Oh, there you go. And Dan hates tripe, so. Tripe is so good. I know! Oh. Finally, she's on my side for once <laughs> in my life. All right, that dish, mm -hmm. if you like those this textures, it's yeah. a really good dish, because yeah. everything is so tender. Right. I've had sea cucumber before where it's just unedible, it's like rubber. Right. So here's the thing, I just don't like that texture. All right, it's this is the uh, Cantonese egg roll. I like it a lot. This, oh. my friends, is excellent. It's insane! Yeah. It's crispy on the outside. Oh. It's got a lot of mayonnaise on the inside, obviously. Mm -hmm. You can taste the tofu, you can taste the seafood. Let's do that. All right, this is a really popular dish down south because you have the normi, which is yeah. the sticky rice, right? And this rice should be infused with the flavor of the crab. Take it slowly, oh, though, because with glutinous rice, 
it'll fill you up. Oh, this is a definitely oh, a fill you up kind of I, dish. I love oh, rice. Oh, that's so good. That's All right, we're going to go ahead and try the chufen, the beef chufen. You know, there's a way to do it. See, they always give you two spoons, right? right. Because the Cantonese waiter, waiters, they have try. a... Oh, you're going to do it? I can do it. All right. They all do it in one hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, she's trying. Oh, she's doing it. Oh. That's how you do it. Wait. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. She's... Uh, uh, oh, no, it's like this. It's like this. Oh, oh, she's messing up. Oh, it's falling. Oh, it fell. <laughs> All right, this is chufen. This is typically something I don't usually get. Right. Why? Because it's so heavy. Mm. Mm -hmm. And once you once you start eating a little bit, it's it's like it fills you up so quickly. It definitely does. All right, <clears throat> I'm with you on this one. Mm -hmm. I would put hot oil in this one. Yes, sure. you need hot you oil. And vinegar. Maybe would, a little bit of vinegar. That's it. right. I would do it. This is something you see in a lot of Cantonese uh, meals. And they take their fried rice very seriously because northerners, mm -hmm. we typically like a bowl of steamed rice, right? right. We, mm -hmm. like, we have our dishes which are very saucy and you need the, the white rice to balance yes, it. Exactly. Imagine eating Sichuan food without, without rice. You, you can't do it. You can't do it. It's but impossible. Cantonese food, you can eat any of this without the help with rice. Right. So the rice itself becomes like a dish. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to try something that uh, Felicia here failed. Oh, okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, man. Oh, there we go, ladies first. There Thank you go. Nice job, wow. bro. So and what's in this again? The baby shrimp, baby which shrimp. we can smell right away. It's also got some raisins, That's eggs. That's interesting, raisins. I don't know if they just added that in or it's no, usually no, no. in it's there. No, no, it's usually in there. There's, yeah. there's usually some sweet elements to this. Mm. Um, but the baby shrimp and baby look like mm. almost baby octopus. Is I think in there the baby too. shrimp is key. I really like the raisins in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're not like the the brown kind. They're like the lighter, lighter kind. Okay. Really good fries. The older it might set you off at first, but the little baby shrimp really is vital to this dish. Right. Also, it's the salty factor. Yes, exactly. Which is exactly. off with the sultanas. Exactly. Wait, raisins? Raisins. Mm -hmm. All right, let me serve uh. you guys some um, dou miao, oh, yeah. which is like a uh, must get veggie oh, yeah. when we're eating Cantonese food. Um, let me know if you want a whole piece some of garlic. garlic. Mm -hmm. Yes, the lady yes. wants some garlic. You want some garlic, buddy? Yeah. She's not into garlic that much. The more oh, pungent, garlic. the better. And I have to say, it's in season now and they cooked it perfectly because this can be overcooked so easily. So finally we have the fish and we couldn't wait, so we're like, already ate half of it. The next stage is mm. to de-spine this fish because you don't flip it over. That is probably the worst thing you could do when eating this fish. Break it. You're oh, you just decapitated the fish. Oh. oh, she just did it. By the oh. way, guys, you should learn this for when you go to a significant yep, house. Yep. Oh, You're going gonna... to be put to the test, Whoa, guys. She's got some skills. Look at that. Look at that. It's delicate. Oh, oh my, my gosh. She's like a surgeon. This is the surgery what? I like. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Oh, wow. I've never seen this before either. <laughs> hey, hey, Mike, eat yeah. that one right there. No. <laughs> no, no, no. I, 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 uh, I, I freaked out earlier. You guys missed that. But, uh, I ate a piece of fish eggs, yeah, and that was totally not my, uh, not my. Not thing. Was it life changing? I, I can't. I can't. Describe the taste. The taste was. I just don't want to relive it again. It's, it's, <laughs> it's like it's like these little things that you're just like, oh my god, I'm eating baby fish. So what do you guys think of the fish? This it's is my, silky. It's smooth. This is my favorite kind of fish because the flavor of the fish. It's so tender. I love the skin. It's kind of slimy. It's not. That, that's how I would eat it every time. Mm -hmm. And the sauce, I agree, is, is pretty good. It's, yeah. it's soy-based sauce. When I was little, and we would get this, we'd be at a full restaurant, and I would just take the plate and just and put and just oh yeah, and then get yelled at by right my parents. from the sauce. Another really great part is the cheek. I heard about that. Mm -hmm. I heard the, the meat cheek is really tender, tender, right? But this one has a really little head. So. Dude, you know why? Because that fish is flat-faced. There's no <laughs> meat in the cheek. It's like, like us Asians. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> gotta go snap. there. I was thinking it, I didn't say it, and she said it. I guess right. people are just meaner in Australia. I know. I think we're just more direct. All right, guys, so we obviously have a mountain to climb in front of us with uh, trying to tackle all this stuff. So we got some reinforcements, and we're gonna feast on this. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, no Cantonese meal will be complete without a final dessert. And uh, this is red bean with little. Sago? Uh, yeah, sago. Okay. It's got it's got green the mung the mung beans the mung bean. too. Yeah, so let's try and this. Peanuts. I love this stuff actually. It should be a bit sweet, right? Mm. Oh, mm. that is delicious. Perfect level of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's well, kind of just to cleanse the palate. Yeah. Also, you know, there's not a lot of Chinese desserts out there, so fruit. 
It's like whenever someone's like, can I have some Chinese dessert? I'm like, you want an orange? <laughs> <laughs> we did finally get some hot sauce. Hot, no, it's not hot oil, right? It's like garlic. But garlicky hot yeah. sauce, which goes really good, I think, with the dou miao. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, like no. Dou miao? I put my dou miao in that and it makes it better. With the noodles. With the noodles. Oh, whatever. With the noodles. Yeah. So I have my own way of eating Cantonese food and these guys have their way. <laughs> yeah, it's Team Mike, Team everybody else. Yeah. On, uh, if you like my hot, spicy approach to Cantonese food. Not a lot of people <laughs> will, probably. But whatever. Are you going to try more Cantonese food from now on? Or? You know what? I'm going to stick to dim sum. I do like oh, dim sum. Okay. So we are going to have a dim sum video coming yeah. up at some yeah. point, And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I do like dim sum. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is, you know, what I eat this again. Yeah, I, I eat all food. I'm a lover of all food. But uh, is this my favorite style of Chinese cooking? Probably not. What about you? I, I think you have to be in a mood to eat this kind of food. Like. Mm. If you're feeling healthy, this is definitely it. If you're looking yeah. for something that's like, boom, In your this face. is not it. <laughs> Flavor-wise. Flavor-wise, flavor right. Well, well, this is, again, this is the Southern cuisine's like my favorite. Yeah. Because it's just, I, I love the natural flavors of food, you know what I mean? Like, so. I love the natural flavor of food too. So <laughs> they're hot oil. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, anyway, that's it for our Cantonese adventure. We'll sure be seeing more of Felicia. And Hopefully. thanks, Felicia, for coming with us. No yeah. worries, I loved being here. Thanks for the food. <laughs> and again, we want to thank Imperial Palace in Flushing. Definitely come check it out. It's right off of Main Street. Amazing place. Great service, by the way. So Absolutely. The information is in the description box below. So guys, definitely come and eat some of their awesome food. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.